friends, welcome to Crafternoon. This month we're going to be reading Mr. Brown Can Move, Can You by Dr. Seuss. And we're going to be creating a fun little cow craft. So grab your craft packets, some scissors and taper glue, and we'll get started. Don't forget that if you do create your craft project, have mom or dad post your creation onto our original Facebook post by midnight on Sunday, March 7th for a chance to win this really cute stuffed cow and a copy of our book. So let's get started. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. He can go like a cow. He can go moo, moo. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? Can you moo like a cow? Great job. He can go like a bee. Mr. Brown can buzz. How about you? Can you go buzz, buzz? I see two bees. One, two. He can go like a cork. Pop, 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 pop. And he can go like horse feet. Clop, 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 clop. He can go like a squeaky shoe. He can go like a rooster. Do you know what a rooster says? Cock-a-doodle-doo. He can go like an owl. What does an owl say? Hoo, 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 hoo. Eek, 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 eek. cock a doodle -doo. How about you? He can go like the rain. Dibble, 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 dop. Dibble, 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 dop, dop, dop. The raindrops are landing right on top of his hat. He can go like a train. Choo, 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 choo. Can you make a train sound? Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. Moo, moo, bzz, bzz. Pop, pop, pop. Ee, ee. Hoo, hoo. Clop, clop, clop. Dibble, dibble, dop, dop. Cock a doodle doo. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? Mr. Brown can whisper, whisper, very soft and very high, like the soft, soft whisper of a butterfly. Maybe you can too. I think you ought to try. Could you flap your arms like butterfly wings? Great job. He can go like a horn. Bloop, 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 bloop. Like a big cat drinking. <sniffs> this cat's drinking milk. He can go like a clock. He can tick and he can talk. He can go like a hand on a door. Knock, 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 knock. Tick, tuck, tick, tuck. Knock, 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 knock. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. Blurp, blurp, slurp, slurp, cock a doodle do. Knock, 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 and hoo, hoo, hoo. He can even sizzle, sizzle. He can do that too, like an egg in a frying pan. How about you? Can you make the sound? Sizzle, sizzle. Mr. Brown is smart, as smart as they come. He can do hippopotamus chewing gum. 
Can you make a sound that a hippo would make if he were chewing gum? I wonder if they can blow bubbles. Mr. Brown is so smart. He can even do this. He can even make a noise like a goldfish kiss. Boop. Boom, boom, boom. Mr. Brown is a wonder. Boom, boom, boom. Mr. Brown makes thunder. He makes lightning splat, splat, splat. And it's very, very hard to make a noise like that. Oh, the wonderful things Mr. Brown can do. Moo, moo, buzz, buzz. Pop, 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 pop. Ee, ee, hoo, hoo. Quap, quap, quap. Dibble, dibble, top, top. Cock a doo doo. Hum, dum, dum. Jump, choo, choo, choo. Boom, boom, splat, splat, tick, tick, tock. Sizzle, sizzle, blurp, blurp. Knock, knock, knock. A slurp and a whisper and a fish kiss, too. Mr. Brown can do it. How about you? Well, I hope you enjoyed our story today. Now it's time to get crafty. Go ahead and grab your craft kit and you're going to need a pair of scissors and some glue or tape to create your project today. We're going to be making a little cow puppet to go along with our story. The first step in creating your cow puppet is to cut a section of your white paper off. We're going to use this for your cow's head, and this one we'll use to make his or her ears. To create the cow's head, we're just going to make a simple oval shape. Or you can make it any shape you'd like. Maybe you want a square head or a circle head, whatever you like the best. I'm going to go ahead and make a simple oval. You can either cut freehand like I'm doing, or you can draw it out with a crayon or marker or pencil, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And so here I have my cow's head. With my remaining white paper, I'm going to make my cow's ears. And to make them look the same, I'm going to fold my strip in half. And that way when I cut, I will cut out two identical ears at the same time. So to make his ears, I'm going to kind of make mine a little more pointed like this. But you can make your ears any shape that you want. So when I open it, it looks like this. But I'm going to cut them down the middle so then I have two ears. So we've got a great start. The next step is to take your pink paper. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with my white paper. I'm going to cut a strip off the side. So I have a large piece for my cow's nose. And I have a small piece to make the pink spots that I want to put inside his ears. So to make his nose, it might be easiest if you draw um, using your white paper as a template so your nose is a little bit um, similar in size. Or you can just free cut again. And I'm going to make kind of a big nose for my cow. So I'm making kind of a large oval shape. So it can just set on the bottom like this. For my cow's ears, I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time where I folded my paper in half, and I'm going to make the little middles for his ears. So this is going to be a little smaller than the ears. I'm going to make them look like little footballs. And they're going to just fit in there like this. Now, if you would like, we do have some black paper in your packet, 
And with the black paper, I cut two little ovals to make his nostrils. And then I used um, some black paper to make it look like our cow hat was a black and white cow. So those can be any shape. They're just wiggly little forms. You can use it to do that, or you can leave your cow white, whatever you prefer. So I'm going to cut a little section off um, to make the little nostrils. And again, we're going to fold that in half. And I'm going to cut out two little ovals to make our nostrils today. So there they are. And I'll just lay those on the nose for now. And I think I am going to make a couple spots for my cow. Um, so I'm going to cut off a little piece of paper and just kind of make a wiggly blob shape. And that will be one of my black spots on my cow. So it, any shape is fine. And I think I'm going to put it over here kind of where this little eye is. And on our sample, we had another little splotch up top. So you can do that if you would like to, or you can just do one, or again, you can do none, or you can put more splotches all over the cow. It can have lots of spots. So whatever you like the best. So I think I'm gonna go with that. My next step is going to be gluing all these parts together. So I'm going to grab my glue stick and you can use tape or you can use bottle glue, whatever you prefer. Whatever you have on hand, it'll all be fine. So I am going to glue the pink part of my ear onto my ear, and then glue my ear onto my cow's head. And then I will work on the other ear, so add that pink part in there and stick it down and then glue the other ear on and push down really well so it sticks. The next step I'm going to add the black spot. So glue that where I think I would like it. Then I'm gonna glue down my little black nostril pieces <laughs> right in the middle towards the top I think so I want to leave room for his little mouth I'll put both of those on and then I'm going to glue down my pink nose so add some glue for that and push it down and so now I have a pretty good start to my cow puppets. Okay, for our next step, you'll need to get your little baggie out and you have a baggie that came with some green shreds and then inside of that baggie, there is another small baggie. And this baggie has two eyes and it also has two glue dots inside. And so go ahead and open this little tiny baggie up and. I don't know, I've got big fingers, so this one's kind of hard for me. But we'll get that baggie opened up and pour out your parts. So you should have two glue dots and two eyes. I'll get rid of my scraps here. The glue dots we don't need quite yet. Um, because our eyes already have sticky backs to them. And so you can just peel that sticky back off of your eyes and just kind of scratch at it and put your eye um, wherever you would like to have it and push it down and it'll stick right up. And then you can do the same for your other eye. Just peel off that backing, and then you have two googly eyes for your cow. So with the next part, we're going to need our craft stick that was in your packet and those two glue dots. This is what we're going to use to stick our stick on to the back of our puppet. Glue dots are really awesome. They're very sticky, and they work really well to hold things that are a little bit heavier. So with your glue dot, 
Um, it is actually wedged between two pieces of clear plastic. So you're gonna pull those apart. And then you'll see that your glue dot stays on one side of the plastic. So take that glue dot and smush it onto the top of your stick. And I'm sure this is probably kind of hard to see because it's clear, but I put my glue dot right up here. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my other glue dot. I'm gonna pull it apart and that glue dot will stay on one side. And just a little farther down, right in here, I put my other glue dot. I'm going to flip my cow over and then peel this clear off of here. So then my two glue dots are actually on my stick and I'm going to lay it down on my cow and push it down. So then I have a little puppet ready to go. Something missing on this cow compared to this cow. That's right, the grass, the grass. If you want your cow to be eating some grass, you can add it on the bottom. If you don't want to, you don't have to. To stick the grass on, a glue stick will work. Um, sticky tape works better. The best thing to use is actual running glue, um, or if mom has a hot glue gun, that will help stick the grass a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use just my runny glue, liquid glue, and just put glue kind of where I want grass. So I think that looks pretty good. And then I will open up my baggie of green shreds, which actually looks like green grass, which will have green grass before long. It's a lot warmer now than it was last week. So I'm just gonna kind of take that grass and put it over the top of the glue and kind of gently push it down. We'll have to be a little patient because it does take just a little time for it to dry. But if you let it sit for a while and have some patience when it dries, it will stick on just like this grass did. Thank you for crafting with us today. And don't forget that if you want to show us what your craft project turned out like, have mom or dad post it to our original Facebook post before midnight on Sunday, March 7th for a chance to win a Mr. Brown Can Moo Can You book and a really cute stuffed cow. Thanks so much for crafting with us. Have a great day.